Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm AST and in this video I'm going to talk about something that I'm really excited about and that's an open source Angular project that I started and it is open for contributions. So if you're an Angular developer and if you're looking for an open source project to contribute to, keep on watching. So I created an open source project on GitHub. You can find my open source project on github.com monocode lisa slash angular headless hash node. In this project I'm using Apollo Angular which is a GraphQL client for Angular that allows writing GraphQL queries from within the Angular app. I'm connecting to the public hash node API on gql.hashnode.com and I have been exploring the playground which has been a lot of fun. Right now I have one version of the project deployed on Netlify. It is Angular version 16. Using modules and not using any UI libraries, I am just using Angular and I have added some custom SCSS. I have implemented dynamic theme switching. I am retrieving the blog post from my newly created Hashnode blog that is devoted to this project and uh, the Hashnode version can be viewed on angular-headless.hashnode.dev. I wrote down some issues and I added labels so it's easier to navigate and filter through them. Many have a label of good first issue, but beyond that, as I was writing the issues, I realized that for a lot of the required steps, I already have YouTube videos where I'm showing how to do those things. For example here, just grabbing the first issue, which is pretty simple and it's create a header component. I have a video on YouTube in which I'm doing exactly that using the Angular CLI. Also, as you can see right now, a lot of the issues and features are on the simpler side. So I hope that all of this makes it easier and it helps those of you that wants to start contributing to open source. With this project, I'm aiming to solve two things for me and hopefully for other developers. The two things are open source contribution and having a blog that I'm happy with. So starting with the first thing, it is embarrassing to say that for the last several years, I have been meaning to start contributing to open source, but I haven't actually done it. Of course, the first thing that I would like to contribute to is Angular, but just having a look at the repo and all the code that is happening there is a little bit overwhelming. There are just things on a higher level than what I can do right now and I just like I just haven't done anything uh, not to mention that I am kind of stretched between few projects and if I contribute to something that I'm really passionate about I want to make sure that I can actually devote all the time concentration and effort that the project deserves and I just never felt like there is a quiet enough time where I can work without distractions to actually start contributing to Angular and I honestly didn't know where to start from. So I was thinking what if before I jump into some huge project like Angular itself, I just start with creating something smaller, something more manageable for me and for other developers. Also, this can be something just like to test the waters and then move on to larger things. So that's one idea of my project. The other thing is that I actually have a web dev blog where I talk about a lot of things related to web development and programming and for the last couple of years it has been a lot of angular but I haven't been really promoting this blog. Four years ago it was WordPress then a few years ago I moved to Hashnode and even though Hashnode is really really nice and they give me a lot of ways to add custom styles at the time it was still a little bit too much to maintain it. To be honest the reason I haven't been promoting my blog is exactly because I'm not happy with the way it looks and I think I spent too much time dwelling on how to develop it and what I wanted to look like then the content itself and maintaining that blog so basically I was thinking of doing a mean stack but then I couldn't decide which database to use with all those things and a couple of times I actually changed the domain as well so I have been using hash node for a couple of years and when I learned that they have headless mode that was I was like that's it I gotta do it this way because at least this way I can finally have the layout that I want have a looking the way I want without having to commit to a specific database or plan or paying for this or exceeding or like security issues and things like that. So the second thing that I'm aiming to solve with this open source project is to make it easier for other Angular developers than maybe experiencing the same thing that they 
want to have a nice looking blog, but they just don't want to commit to a specific database or a specific backend or probably don't even have the time because it is also time consuming. At the end of the day, if you think about the content and then the stack and then building it, I mean, like by the time you're done with all of that, you don't even feel like writing anymore. So I want to make this whole process a lot easier for other Angular developers to have something that they can use for their blog. And another reason why I have been kind of pushing my blog to the side is because I feel like since ChatGPT came out everyone has a blog like everyone and I don't even know if blogs are gonna be what they used to be and I was like I mean should does it really require all the effort to just set up the blog but now with the open source project it is actually more than that more than my personal blog no matter what happens with it maybe after five or three or two years maybe people would not be reading blogs but the open source project is still gonna be there and it's still gonna be a nice place to practice learn and evolve our open source skills so in this video i would like to welcome everyone who is excited about angular everyone who wants to build the headless hash node blog to have a look and feel free to contribute i mean it will be great if you can help me with this because by the time i'd be done if i do it by myself people would not be reading blogs anymore so if you're looking for an open source project to contribute to with Angular and you want to learn and you want to get a bit more comfortable with open source, I welcome you to check out my project and just add your contribution and your, your ideas and have a look around and just tell me what you think. I'm always open to feedback. That would be great also too. So check out the Angular Headless Hash Node open source project that I started. Have a look at the rest of the videos on my channel. A lot of them are Angular related. Don't have a look at my blog because <laughs> my blog doesn't look great right now, but hopefully, hopefully one day is gonna look great the way I want it to look with Angular in the front end. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.